Hello! Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to an MVL Gaming live stream. Today we're going to be taking a look at something I'm very excited about and for that I am wearing purple because we're going to take a look at the Evercade handheld cosmic purple edition. We're going to be unboxing this awesome limited edition handheld and I'm very excited about that. I'm going to unbox it, show you all of that, and then I'm going to switch to another camera angle so you can take a little bit of more look and detail at this. I will also be showing this in comparison to the limited edition black handheld, which was another limited edition they did. And as well, I will be showing you a little bit of a showcase, a little bit of a primer. Hey Henry, how are you doing buddy? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out my friend. Uh, I will also be showing you um, the other Evercade offerings at this time. Now, um, I have heard from some of my uh, friends that they're not too familiar with the Evercade, so I will be showing you guys everything that they offer as well in this video. So if you're not very familiar with the Evercade, stick around till after the unboxing of this, and I will show you all of the collections that they have on offer at this time. Currently 20 cartridges, 20 cartridges are on offer for the Evercade and there's more on the way as well and uh, also I just got my shipping notification for the Evercade VS which is their home console version I have the founders edition coming with another six six cartridges another six cartridges coming so that's awesome and that will include uh, two more home console cartridges which have red packaging and four more um, arcade cartridges and guess what color the arcade cartridges are that's right, they're purple! Um, very appropriate for this. So this was exclusive to Funstock, the Evercade handheld Cosmic Purple Edition. Um, very appropriate with their logo on here as well. Happy about this. And uh, this retails for around about £100, I think. And uh, it was on a uh, Black Friday deal for 80 when it uh, when it was unveiled. How am I doing, Henry? I'm doing great, my friend. Excited for some retro action with the new... Evercade handheld. I'm going to be unboxing this in just a moment and getting into that. So yeah, let's take a look at the packaging. Like I said, hey Corbin's over on Twitch. Hope you're doing well my friend. It's going to be a great Saturday with some Evercade action, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open this up. I'll give you a look at the packaging as well. Now I'm going to give you a better look at this uh, when it comes to um, the other camera angle I have set up as well. So there's what it looks like. And I will show this in comparison to what the uh, what the other edition I have. I don't have the regular white version. They do a white version of the handheld and of the VS, the home console. Um, but I have the limited edition black for the handheld, and I have a limited edition black of the um, of the home console coming as well. Anyway, I'm too excited to not open this up right now. So let's open this up. Um, this packaging actually is different from the original packaging, which I'll show you in comparison in just a moment as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll take off a seal of this, and then we'll have a look at the packaging in compared to the uh, to the regular packaging, and then uh, I think we'll have a look at the system and compare that to the other system as well. So yeah, let's take uh, take the uh, the scissors to this and uh, open this up so we can get inside to the handheld. Now there's a lot of cartridges out for this and there's more cartridges on the way as well. There's been a bunch of uh, a bunch of great cartridges out, but they also have great ones coming like the Renovation Collection, which will have uh, some of the Valus games on, which is very cool. Awesome that this uh, system has some retro collections on it. Great value as well with the cartridges, around about uh, £15 to $20 or something along those lines. There's the uh, packaging as it is. For the purple edition. Love this custom packaging. Now taking a look at this packaging compared to the regular packaging. This is the premium pack packaging. I think this goes for around about 80 or 100 or something around about that. But the packaging is very different. Uh, this is obviously thicker because it has uh, some games in it. This was just the handheld. And uh, I want to say that they've leveled up their packaging a lot because uh, this was the initial packaging, which is actually the white version you see on the front here. Um, the, the difference in color, they notified by just a little sticker here on the color on the side in the original packaging. And it, the, the packaging for this is great. 
but they've really leveled up the presentation for like the special editions. So as you can see, this version came with a bunch of games. Hey, Be Right Gaming, how are you doing, my friend? Which was awesome. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. So there's the packaging next to each other. Pretty much the same size, but obviously a difference in width. And there's that. Pretty cool. All right, there's the original packaging you saw right there. And uh, I'll compare the units as well when we open it up as well. So let's unsleeve this. Oh, there you go. All right, there. There's the packaging there. Got a new PC. Be right. That's awesome, my friend. Good to hear that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's open this up and take a look at the handheld inside. Whoa. Okay. So you have a couple of things in here. You have a manual of sorts. There's that. Start quick start guide. There you go. You also have a little sticker here. There's that. Little sticker for the Evercade. And there's a, another sticker here. It looks like a it looks like a oh it's a transfer. It might be hard to see, but it's like a transfer of their little mascot character. I'll show that in the other camera angle as well so it's easier to see. And then there's this uh, there's another little sticker here. Of the Evercade. Super cute. And there is the certificate of authenticity right here as well for the Evercade. So there's that. The Purple Edition Certificate of Authenticity. There were only a thousand of these made. And uh, here is the system itself. It looks really nice. And we're going to go to a different camera angle for this as well. So you can see that. But we'll take the system out right here and uh, show that off. So there's the, uh, there's the Purple Edition. Looks so nice. Buttons all feel pretty good. We'll turn it on as well, of course. The back of it is also purple. Now, the Black Edition had a white back like the regular model. And this one's back is all purple. You've got some uh, buttons at the bottom there. I'll show this all in close up as well so it's easy to see for the volume. There's the USB. By the way, I don't believe you'll get... You're going to need a USB power supply. You're going to need one of these um, for these systems. I don't believe they include a power supply, but lots of people have power supplies anyway. Um, so just keep that in mind if you buy one of these, you're going to need a power supply. Um, yeah, alright. Alright then, okay. So uh, yeah, and on the top you've got your shoulder buttons, cartridge input, and uh, and there's the mini HDMI, small HDMI. It's GameCube kind of shade of purple, Corbins. That is true, it's very GameCube. And actually, it's a lot more vibrant in person, this purple, than it is on the camera. But I will compare it uh, when we come to it as well. So I also have the Founders Edition right here, the Founders Edition Evercade. Um, but actually, quickly before I before I go on to that, maybe I'll just check if there's anything else in the box because I imagine there's a USB lead in here. Yeah, there's a USB lead. So um, there's that. You, so you get the lead, but you do not get the um, you do not get the charger because the charger wouldn't fit in the box anyway. But most things don't come with chargers uh, these days anyway. So it's kind of it's kind of expected. I'm gonna leave the. Uh, lead out for that packaging and then just put that back together and we'll have a look at some of those uh, stickers close up in a moment as well but uh yeah there you go awesome packaging though um the uh like the display of the packaging is going to look good as it is so there you go anyway we'll put that to the side for now and uh, i'll show the uh my evercade black edition and uh this is a founder's edition it actually came with this bag and it also came with a uh, founder's coin there's the uh there's the usb lead that i had for that one in there and this came with a founder's coin uh, which i which i have right here there's the uh there's the founder's coin pretty awesome that you uh that you got for being a uh, getting the founder's edition of the handheld there's that um but let's look at the main event right here the handheld itself and uh, so this was the limited edition black edition. Now I've only I've only seen like one of these ever on eBay. So uh, people that buy these hang on to them. That's for sure. There's my original handheld. Uh, I love the look of this one. I love that it has like the red outline and everything. It looks pretty awesome. And we'll compare that to the uh, the look of this purple edition. Put them next to each other. And as you can see, the uh, the 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 difference in color is quite significant. And on the back here. 
the uh, the limited edition black one has a white back, which is uh, which is more akin to the color of the cartridges, which is kind of interesting as well. So there's that. Um, I'll give you a closer look at these when we come to uh, when we come to the other camera angle as well. We'll have a seamless transition, no doubt, a seamless transition to that. And then the other thing I want to mention as well, we're going to show the uh, we're going to show the games as well. And there, there's like currently, currently uh, 20 games. How am I doing? I am doing okay, be right. <laughs> I am doing fine. Uh, there's like 20 games for this system. Um, tons and tons of games. So like, this is like half a stack. And then this is half a stack as well. So you've got tons and tons of games for this system. I'll bring over my... Uh, my camera set up right here so we can get into that but there are so many games for the Evercade <laughs> there's so many games already out for the system it is really awesome that you've already got a massive selection for your Evercade handheld a massive selection of games and I'm going to show these games close up in a minute um, so you guys can get a good look at them but yeah massive massive collection of games for the system out already and many of these collections um, I'll take one for example, um, this is the Atari Collection 1. This collection has 20 games on it. So like, these are like £15 or like $20 or somewhere around that to get a bunch of games on these collections. And it's a really good deal as well. And to get these physically, that's probably the biggest appeal, um, especially to myself, to get these physical cartridges with the physical games included now I'll actually I'll put this cartridge in the Evercade as well so you can see what it looks like when it's in there um, but yeah to like to get them physically it's really cool I also imagine um, in passing I will just say that the um, that the firmware of the purple edition is probably more up to date than my original black handheld because um, they've updated the firmware since like any issues like control issues with the games using the Evercade controls they've patched and fixed that along the way and you can upgrade uh, your system so that um, many of those issues have been fixed. There was like a HDMI out issue with the um, with a minor issue for um, when capturing, and uh, they fixed that on the uh, on the last update, which is awesome because that means people like myself can stream it a lot more easily. But yeah, they're actively addressing these uh, these these minor issues and fixing them as they go, which is also really cool because you know you know that the uh, community. That they're, that they're looking out for the community when it comes to it. Anyway, I'm going to get this 20 odd game cartridges and another 6 on the way by the way. So another 6 cartridges, 26 cartridges total for the Evercade. Um, and then uh, there's the renovation collection on the way as well and another cartridge announcement to be made I believe as well. Alright, I've got this set up. Hopefully this is going to work <laughs> as we switch to the uh, to the other camera. We'll take a look at that, and we'll have a look at the uh, Evercade handheld. Then I will compare it to the uh, the other edition as well. We'll have a look at that, and uh, yeah, let's do that. So, hopefully, this will work. Right, switch over to the other capture. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me and everything. I hope everything's still working. Hope it's all looking good. That looks pretty pretty okay to me. Okay, so. There's the Evercade, as you can see. Awesome handheld. It looks really good. The the colors for this system in person, it's like it's a lot more vibrant in person than it is through the uh, the YouTube. Um, very cool. We're gonna we're gonna turn this on as well, and uh, and uh, and check it out. The bottom here, as I mentioned, the headphone buttons, headphones jack, uh, the power. You got you got a power lead with it, but you didn't get um, you didn't get a power um, adapter. You didn't get one. You didn't get one of these. So you you'll need you need like something like that to uh, to power it. And then uh, on that side you have uh, shoulder buttons, uh, power button, and then the uh, HDMI out mini mini HDMI out. And then on the back you have the uh, the cartridge slot. Most importantly for the physical aspect of it. Now the ori the original one I had had a white back to match the uh, to match the cartridges themselves which is kind of interesting. So this one they went they went on and made a made the back of that purple which is pretty awesome. Uh, so it matches the front. 
uh, which is awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's the uh, there's the black edition as well. Does that? You're getting all kinds of reflections <laughs> in the screen as well. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Comparing them next to each other. Very nice. Very nice. Good stuff. All right. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the limited edition black edition, and there's the uh, limited purple edition as well. Oh, and I was going to show you the stickers as well, wasn't I? So that you could see them a little better for the uh, for the Evercade. Let's take a look at some of these stickers that you get with it. So here's one of those stickers right there. You'll be able to see them a little a little better in uh, in this camera, I think. And there's the uh, here's the transfer. I think this one might be a little easier to see here, sort of. If you can sort of see, that's their logo character on the transfer there. And then we had uh, this little guy as well, model like a cartridge. All right, there's that. Okay, so let's uh, let's put a game in this and uh, and uh, turn it. Well, we'll turn it on first. So I'll turn it on. Now I know that the uh, user interface is going to be updated when it comes to the new um, system, the VS, and eventually they're going to be updating the handhelds so it matches that as well. But there you go. You probably won't hear it because I've got noise cancellation on my uh, stream setup. But there's the uh, there's the opening logo there, and please insert a cartridge. All right. So there you go, it comes, it's it's very loud at the moment, but you probably can't hear it because um, I've got the noise cancellation set on my um, stream setup, but it is, it is very loud, the buttons right now. Um, let's put a cartridge in, let's put the uh, Atari collection in, let's go put that in. And we'll, uh, we'll pop that in there. So like I mentioned, the back of this, I just go ahead and like turn it off and uh, the the back of this is actually purple to match the front unlike the previous edition which is very cool so there's the cartridges right there this is the Atari collection one this is what they look like and you just go ahead and pop that right in there now my uh, my my other handheld the first time I inserted a cartridge in it, it was like pretty stiff. So uh, we'll see if that's the case as well. I actually can't. Yeah, this is going to be tight squeeze, but it'll get easier after the uh, first attempt. Yeah, that's very snug. But I imagine once I get that out, um, it'll be a lot easier. It was with with my other system. The first uh, cartridge I put in my limited edition black handheld, I had a tough time getting it out. But after that, it was good. Uh, so there, there you go, there's a car the Atari cartridge in there. Um, we'll, we'll try and get it out in a moment. Um, right, let's turn it on. Uh, again, you won't hear any sound because of the, um, because of the noise cancellation. But uh, we'll check this out as it turns on. And we'll, 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 just, we'll just show it in action. There's that Evercade logo right there. Very excited for their... Versus the VS, the four-player home system. So there you go. You're not going to see this very, very well on this screen, but the screen on this thing is amazing. The viewing angles are really good. Um, I have done a uh, unboxing video of the limited black edition where I showed it um, captured HDMI out. I'm just gonna like go past this cartridge right here, so you can see that like you got a bunch of games here: Alien Brigade, Adventure. Adventure um, as well. This is a different version of that and then asteroids and then you got uh, Canyon Bomber and here you have uh, Crystal Castles like there's 20 games on here. You've got Centipede as well and then you've got uh, Double Dunk and then you have uh, Desert Falcon Here you have uh, Food Fight 7800 versions as well as 2600 versions there as well uh, Gravatar and then you got Missile Command uh, there'll be there'll be arcade versions of these games as well when the arcade cartridges come out, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Motorcycle Night Driver, uh, Ninja Golf, great game. Uh, Steeple Chase, yeah, Steeple Chase, Soul Quest, Earth World, Tempest, Video Pinball, Yars Return. 
and then uh, we're back to William Brigade. All right, so uh, I'll just quickly show show some of this work in, show show some of it in action, so you guys can get a good uh, feel of that. I'm gonna turn the sound like down on it, so uh, be because the sound isn't being captured right now anyway. But there you go, Alien Brigade on the handheld. Pretty awesome. I'm loving the look of this as well. I would say um, it, they have that great like Sega style D-pad as well. The buttons are um, laid out in a particular way as well. So all right, let's uh, boot up some Alien Brigade. Now this does as well have HDMI out. All right. Now with the um, with the uh, with the home console version coming, it's going to be like you're going to have different options as well. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that, I think. <laughs> but there you go, the game works uh, great. Alright, there you go. Okay, good stuff as well. Uh, so you can see the uh, system in action right there. I'm not sure how the screen looks on the capture, but it in reality it looks absolutely great. And uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, see if we can get that cartridge out. Oh boy, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Now, that's going to be a lot easier after after the first attempt, I think. It's going to be a lot easier to get these in and out. I think. Yeah. Like, much, much easier. So, like, I know, like, when the systems are new and the plastic is all, like, is all new, um, like, the it's a lot uh, tighter, the, uh, the the cartridge slot. But after that, it was, it was much easier. So it's not so bad. <laughs> all right, there you go. So that is the... Um, Evercade Purple Edition handheld. There you go, guys. What do you guys think about that? I think it looks pretty awesome. Very excited about it. And uh, very happy I grabbed this. I think this is going to be a sought-after piece in the Evercade collection going forward. Now, what I would say um, to um, to uh, Blaze is that um, to, to maybe, like... Um, be a bit sparing with the special editions, as they has been. I remember there was a uh, community um, post on their social media where they asked if people wanted to see more special editions, and at the time, um, I think most people were were on the side of they would rather see more cartridges and things like that. Um, it is very cool to get these special editions, but if they release like too many of these, then um, collectors are in danger of getting wallet fatigue. Um, so. I think they're doing it kind of right at the moment with the odd special edition. Hey, Ron Moa, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Um, and this this was a cool um, this was a cool version to come out. Very cool about that, and uh, I do I do love it. But um, I do I do hope um, they. I mean, they could, they could always like do more coloured versions down the line. But um, if they were to do like a special edition, like you know, every other week, then it might be a bit much, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, so awesome, awesome to grab this. Uh, very cool. You're doing good, Ron? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, my friend. Got myself the limited edition um, Evercade Purple Edition, Cosmic Purple Edition. Very happy about that. I'm going to show some of the games now. Um, for those that aren't very familiar with the Evercade um, handheld, I'm going to show you some of the some of the games for this thing. They're all physical games, as you saw. They go in the cartridge slot. Um, this thing does have HDMI out, but I will be showing their home console version soon as well. Um, I had the notification of shipment for that, so the home console version, um, which, it, which admittedly there's there's there, there's only really the aesthetic of a home console difference between them. The home console can do um, uh, 1080, I think, and this did 720 uh, when connected to a TV. ECW edition, Ron. You know, I think the uh, I think the ECW text was actually purple, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so kind of appropriate. ECW edition. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at some of the games. I already showed you guys um, this game, which was the uh, which was the first one, the Atari collection. And uh, there you have it. And this is twenty games included in this collection. And um, they have currently twenty cartridges out. But like I mentioned, there's uh, there's more than coming out. ECW Cade, <laughs> that's awesome, Ron. That could stick actually. Um, so there you go. Like actually, I think I think one of the um, one of the versions of the Evercade we, I, I saw, because there were a couple of prototypes 
um, images that were out there of, of the Evercade. And some of them had like the buttons, the Nintendo way around, BA, um, which was interesting. And I think one of them was red. We never actually saw a red Evercade, but I think red is like the WCW color. So they could have like a WCW edition as well. Uh, but yeah, red is the color, as I mentioned, of the uh, of the console cartridges. They have purple cartridges coming, which is the um, arcade cartridges. Uh, I'll be reviewing a couple of those. My plan is to rev is to review the Evercade okay VS Founders Edition that I have coming. I apologize for rocking the camera, by the way. I'm very excited, and this uh, this desk is a little uneven. Um, it, all of those cartridges, except the uh, Bitmap Brothers collection, which I will be reviewing separately because that has the Chaos Engine on it, and I love that game. Starcade could be, could be. Um, this this has uh, uh, yeah. This has uh, 20 games on it, and um, yeah, so like uh, 20, 20 games included. I, I showed these games um, on the other side, but I'll go through them again. It's got Centipede, Adventure, Alien Brigade, Asteroids, Missile Command, Crystal Castle, Food Fight, Desert Falcon, Motor Psycho, Canyon Bomber, Gravitar, Double Dunk, Ninja Golf, great game, Steeplechase, Night Driver, Tempest, Video Pinball, Adventure, Yars Revenge, and Saw Quest are in this cartridge right here, and as I showed previously, you have the uh, you have the cartridge. That's what the cartridges look like. Atari ECW collection run. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember the uh, ECW logo being red. Ah, uh, sorry, WCW logo being red. I think, and I think the ECW logo was purple, but I could be mistaken. All right, I don't remember the Starcade. Uh, I know that uh, WWE took ownership of Starcade. I think so. They they probably messed around with that uh, but here's the uh, here's the manual I messed around with this manual actually show show that you you get these full color manuals with them which is awesome there's that guy looking so happy playing the Evercade just like I was earlier um, full color manuals full color manuals what happened to manuals guys so here's the manual it gives me uh, have you played Atari today Ron yeah I played some Atari we had some Atari um, Man, Ninja Golf is a great game. Uh, when I did my my uh, unboxing of the um, previously, I showed some Ninja Golf, I believe, if I remember correctly. But yeah, great that they have different versions in there. They have some uh, arcade uh, collections coming. But as you can see, it's good to just get the controls on this as well. Now, some of the collections, the controls, there's that Alien Brigade, which we did play earlier. And Asteroids. Um... Some of the uh, controls have been changed. A manual that actually has any something in it, Corbin? Exactly. It's it's just so underutilized these days. And you know another thing? Um, another thing they, they don't have anymore, actually, is like uh, on modern games, that is. Uh, they don't have anything on the back of the box, like any synopsis. And there's the uh, available collections. Can you believe that they, they've, they've only been out just over a year? And they've had, uh, they've had, um, like, 20-plus cartridges already. 20-plus cartridges, which is insane. They're doing great. Um, and although I made it sound like I, I, like, didn't want to see too many other special editions, I do want to see more special editions, but I want to see them, you know, over time. That What, what I don't, what I want to avoid is, like, uh, like a bunch of limited editions dropping at once, if you know what I mean. Uh, like, you know, tons of different, like, colours at once, and then that's going to be too much to get in one go. But I would definitely love to see uh, more colours of the system as well. Colourful NES instruction booklets. Yeah, they're going for... Uh, it's funny that you should mention NES, Ron. I think the uh, the VS, the home console, they're going for, like, a, a NES aesthetic with that, because they have... Um, like it front loads the cartridges with like a with like a tray lifting up, uh, so they're, def they're definitely going for that kind of look with their with their next system. Anyway, that is uh, that's the first of twenty of, that they have. Um, I believe that was in the this this collection, the premium pack, uh, which I showed off earlier. Uh, I believe that was in there. Yeah, Atari Collection One also had the Namco Collection uh, in it as well. Um, and now one thing I will say is in the UK. Our version included the Namco collection. I think the Namco collection. I'll I'll get onto this again when we get to the Namco collection. Um, that the Namco collection was a UK exclusive, and the Namco collection will not play on the VS, which is unfortunate. Uh, but there's that. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a little better look at the uh, 
at the packaging for the for the other one comparing that to the packaging for this uh this awesome edition we just had the uh new handheld very cool very cool anyway so there we were with uh with the atari collection one next up have you ecw today right ecw you have the atari collection two here's that now from now on i'm just going to go straight into the cartridges and just like show you guys what's available in terms of games the uh, Namco Battle Museum. Yeah, I think that's been a, a new port run to like the uh, like the Switch and stuff. But I think most of the content on that is digital, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think I think they released like uh, like a cartridge that has like one or two games on it, and the rest that you buy digitally. I could be wrong about that. But all of these are like physically on the cartridge, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, from this point on, I'm just going to show the cartridges. So anyone that doesn't know about the Evercade will see what games they have available currently, which is a lot of games. It's a lot of games. Um, so here's the Atari Collection 2. I just showed the uh, just showed the Atari Collection 1. Uh, 20 games on that. Uh, great games as well. Atari Collection 2. You've got 20 more games on this from Atari as well. There's going to be an Atari Arcade Collection coming as well, with which will have a purple case. These ones have uh, red cases. I, I'm doing these in alphabetical order, actually, although they are numerical on the side as well, if you did want to have them in numerical order. I think it's a bit hard once you have, like, 20-plus of a of a game to have it in numerical order. I have them in alphabetical. Um, but, yeah, okay, so we have Basket Brawl here, Yarl's Revenge, Solaris, Centipede, Asteroids, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon, Haunted House, Sprint Master, Radar Lock, Millipede, uh, submarine commander, planet smashers, real sports tennis. Not your, not your other sports. This is real sports tennis. Wizard, air sea battle, bowling, street racer, dark chambers, and human cannonball. And um, one thing I want to say as well is that there are 7,800 versions and 2,600 versions in here as well. Not a lot of 5,200 versions, but you know we'll see in the future. And on the VS. Um, the VS has two cartridge slots on it, so you can put two cartridges in at once. And I know there's a, a couple of secret games you can unlock by putting different cartridge combinations in the VS. Which will be a thing I try and show when I do the unboxing for that. One of those is an Atari game as well, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I'll show that when it comes to it. But we'll take a look at this as well. Likewise, physical cartridge with all the games on it. Manual with the controls on it and things like that. Awesome. There's the cartridge to that, the Atari Collection 2. Just awesome to get these physical cartridges with the games actually on them. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of the gimmick of this, and it's part of the thing that I love about the Evercade. That you get the games and you have them. You don't need an online collection, connection rather, you don't need an online collection to play these games. They're on the cartridge. It's, it's so, it's so like often a thing these days that you need a digital um a digital presence to play games not with this not with this it's a handheld you can take and go if you want and you know what the saves i forgot to mention the saves are on the cartridges as well so if you want to take your game from your handheld there's the white edition you can see here at the bottom you want to take your save from the handheld take that to the um take that to the home system the vs you can do that the saves are on the cartridge which is awesome all right, next up, we have the Atari Lynx Collection 1. 17 Lynx games on this system. Now, um, I don't have a working Lynx handheld, so this is awesome for me. 16-bit um, games as well. The system is capable of 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit games as well. It can go all the way to the PlayStation. And one thing I didn't mention, actually, is that there are two shoulder buttons, on the handheld, there are four shoulder buttons, two on each side, on the uh, VS controller. But you can also use the handheld as a controller for the home console when that comes to it as well, via that USB cable. I think they call it like a special link cable in the packaging. It's, it's just a USB cable. Anyway, what games are on this Lynx collection, you might ask? Another red box, of course. Uh, there are 17 games included, and they are as follows. Scrapyard Dog, Dracula, The Undead, Jimmy Connors Tennis, Awesome Golf, Crystal Mines 2, Buried Treasure, Basket Brawl, Super Sweek, 
Super Asteroids and Missile Command. That's one collection with two games on it. Uh, Goro 106. Remnant Planar Wars. Ishido The Way of Stones. Cyber Virus. Exump. Uh, Exumo, rather. Ex Exump? Exump. Yeah, we'll go with Exump. That, that one there. Hard to read from my perspective. Mega Pack Volume 1. Multiple games on that. Uh, Malibu Bikini Volleyball. Um, Loops 2 and Power Factor. So, a bunch of great games on that. And then we'll have a look at the cartridge here. There's the physical cartridge. Physical manual again. Awesome. I uh, showed you what these look like on the system as well. There's the cartridge. Now, one thing I would have actually kind of liked is that if the uh, if the color on the back was the same for like all of the cartridges, it's it's a minor like obsessive it's obsessive issue for myself um, that the that the colorization is different on like between the same collections. All right, there's that. Next up, that was the Atari Lynx Collection One. We have the Atari Lynx Collection Two, guys. Eight games on this cartridge. Again, these are a fantastic value, They're like um, fifteen pounds or twenty dollars or thereabouts, depending on where you get them. Sixteen-bit games on this system, awesome. It's another red box. On the back here, we have a look at the games in action. Here we go. We've got California Games, Chips, and Ch uh, Chips Challenge, Todd's Adventure in Slime World, Blue Lightning, Zala Mercenary. Checkered Flag, Electro Cop, and Gates of Xenocon. Gates of Xenocon. Alright, we'll have a look at the cartridge here as well, so you guys can see that. Full color manual, cartridge as well. There's that. And like I was saying guys, the back of this is red instead of black. <laughs> oh well, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's only It's only me that gets like a bit you know, confused at that. Alright. Atari Lynx Collection 2. Nice. The fourth cartridge. Uh, numerically, that's the 14th cartridge, but I keep them in alphabetical order because I'm a madman. I like to keep in alphabetical order. Next up would be the Codemasters Collection 1. You guys remember Codemasters? 17 Codemaster games on this one cartridge. Physically on here. 8 and 16-bit games for your Evercade. Evercade handheld, be it purple or not. It is uh, no, they're all red box. Yeah, bunch of great games on this. Absolutely bunch of great games. We've got Sensible Soccer, amazing game. Love that on the Amiga. Cannon fodder, tennis, all stars, Psycho Pinball, Cosmic Spacehead, Super Skid Marks. Oh my goodness, Super Skid Marks. That's uh, that's a hell of a time. Megalomania, the um uh, real time strategy game. Preludes um, June 2, actually, and June 2 was the inspiration for uh, Command & Conquer. Uh, CJ's Elephant Antics. Big Nose Freaks Out. B-52. MiG-29, so it fighter. The Ultimate Stuntman. The Ultimate Stuntman. Uh, Boomerang Kid. Big Nose the Caveman. F-16 Renegade. Line of Speedheads. And Stunt Buggies down at the bottom there as well. Bunch of games. It's really good value. I, I can't say it enough. The value that you get from these cartridges um, to get a bunch of games on one cartridge. You might only be um, you might only be interested in the old cartridge. You don't have to get every single one like I have. Um, but when they're this cheap, hey, why not? There's the uh, cartridge for that one. Evercade. Codemaster Collection 1. Physical game cartridge. There's the back of that one. It's blue. Number 19. They're numbered on the back as well. So if you lose the cases, you must... If you lose the case and you've got to keep them in numerical order, it's got the number on the back. All right. There's that. I go alphabetical order. If that's crazy, then, you know, I'm crazy. But I like to keep stuff alphabetized. All right. Next up, we have the Data East Collection 1. It's... Burger time! There's my little, like, Vader time uh, reference with Burger time. There are 10 games on this, 8 and 16 bit games. We have Bad Dudes, Burger Time, Midnight Resistance, Side Pocket, 
Karate Champ, Joe and Mac 2, Fighters History, Two Crew Dudes, Magical Drop 2, love that puzzle game, and Burning Rubber, yeah, Burning Rubber. Alright, let's take a look at this. Inside of there, the Data East Collection 1, full colour manual, as always. Sometimes they have like stuff as well as a manual in there as well, like a little extra treat. Like a sticker or poster or something. You never know. It's always a surprise. There's the cartridge for the Data East Collection 1. On the back. You see as well. And uh, as I mentioned, guys, these fit in very easily once you've used the uh, once you've used the cartridge, the uh, the system, a couple of times. All right. Next up, we have the Indie Heroes Collection One. So what's awesome about this? It's a new system. It's not just retro games on the system. They also have stuff like the Indie Heroes Collection, which is awesome. This is a multi-game cartridge which includes 8 and 16-bit games. There are 14 indie games on a physical game collection right here, which is awesome. These type of games are normally digital only. Getting a physical version of them is absolutely fantastic. Um, this in of itself could be a big appeal to people wanting to collect to the system. Because you're not going to see physical versions of these games anywhere else. Only on the Evercade, where you get these in physical form, physical cartridge form. Right, let's take a look at this. So we have the following indie games on this cartridge. Alien Cat 2, Anguna, which is a RPG, Chain Break, Datus. Um, I remember getting a uh, an email about uh, about that to review it, but unfortunately I didn't have time. So, um, but that's, that's an awesome game. Um, Deader. Doodle World, Flea, Foxy Land, Kubo Free, Ployd. So many games I would like to review if I had the time, obviously. Um, now, Quest Arrest here is exclusively in color for the Evercade version. So I believe they released it on uh, on Game Boy. And um, the, the version they released was in uh, black and white. But the Evercade version is exclusively, exclusive to this version. Kick the table when I said that. Exclusive to this version is uh, in color, which is awesome. So you get in the what what people may consider the best version on the Evercade for fifteen pounds twenty dollars with a bunch of other indie games on the same collection. You got Super Homebrew Wars, like a Smash Brothers style game, but with uh, characters from a bunch of homebrew games. Twin Dragons and Ushin, another great game there. Great game. All right, it's the uh, Indie Heroes Collection One. Next up we have the Interplay Collection 1. Reviews! Hey, Zombie, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate dropping by. I just showed the uh, the Evercade handheld in purple. Uh, and now I'm just like, just for anyone who's not familiar with the Evercade, I'm just going to run through the cartridges right now. I'm probably going to do a uh, collection video at some point, but that'll be all to camera. I figure while I've got this, like... Two uh, two camera gimmicks set up for the uh, for the unboxing. I might as well uh, might as well show the cartridges as well. And uh, for anyone not familiar with the uh, with the Evercade, this might give you some insight onto the games available for it. Um, so I figure that might be helpful as well because I know people have people have said to me um, that they're not familiar with the Evercade. So I thought I would show some of the games that are out for it. And here's the Interplay Collection with eight and sixteen bit games here. Uh, it has uh, six games on it. And this has Clay Fighter, Earthworm Jim, Battle Chess, Boogerman, Incantation, and Titan. Hey, appreciate you being here, Zombie. Thanks for checking it out, my friend. There's the cartridge right there. Physical cartridge. Number four here. There's that. So awesome to get these uh, physical cartridges for these. Next up we have the Interplay Collection 2. Six games again, eight and sixteen bit games. Bunch of great games on that one. On here we have Claymates, Earthworm Jim 2, Clay Fighters 2, Prehistoric Man, Rad Gravity, I've got this on the NES, 
and the Brainies as well. That's a good collection right there. That is a good collection right there, Zombie. Earthworm Jim's a great game. Cartridge here, color manual. Take a look at that. There's that. Sweet. All right. We're only halfway through. There's so many cartridges. It's the Jalaku Collection 1. 8 and 16-bit games on this cartridge. 10 games included on this collection for the Evercade. So many different uh, companies offering these collections for the Evercade. It's, it's growing as we speak. There's uh, more cartridges to be announced. You buy it just for the uh, for for the uh, for a firm gym, uh, zombie. I I figure a lot of people probably would. And like there's like the the cartridges are so cheap. It's like fifteen pounds twenty dollars for a cartridge. And if there's like two or three cartridges you want, it's it's worth it on that. And the system, if you if you bought the regular edition of the system, I think the the system with like one game, not getting a special edition that is, is like sixty pounds eighty dollars. And then the premium version, which comes with free games, which I showed earlier. It might be different games if you're overseas. It's like £80, uh, $100. Um, so it's really good value overall, I think, anyway. This one includes a Styanax. Love that game on the NES. Basis Loaded, Brawl Brothers, City Connection, Earth Defense Force, Operation Logic Bomb, Rival Turf, Super Goal 2. The Ignition Factor, and totally rad. This is all totally rad. And, uh, yeah, not only does this have the cartridge and the manual, but also, as I alluded to, sometimes you get something else in there. This has a, uh, a poster. It's pretty cool. We'll unfurl that. You're probably not going to see it on the uh, table too well. But there's the uh, Jaleco Collection poster. Very cool. Look at that guy. And on the back here, Ready to play all over again. So at this point, there were this many cartridges. But guys, there are even more cartridges on the way. We're going to be looking at 26 when the uh, when the VS drops, and 27 when the uh, when the uh, renovation collection comes out, and then past that, 28 when the next cartridge is announced. All in uh, all, in just over a year, there's a cartridge for the Jalaco Collection one. There's the back of that. Very dark blue. Very dark blue. It's actually darker to my eyes than it is on the camera. There's that. Great games on that. Love a Styanax. Alright. And that's just the half of it, guys. Next up, we have Mega Cat Studios Collection 1. Ten games on this cartridge. Ten games. Eight and 16-bit games included on the Mega Cat Studios Collection 1. These are modern retro inspired games, so as well as having like actual retro game collections, which are incredible value for money, because some of those games by themselves will cost more than the system would, without a doubt. You get these modern companies with their modern collections of games. Coffee Crisis is a game that I absolutely love. I actually did get a, uh, a review code to do Coffee Crisis on the Switch, and uh, it was a game that involved coffee and heavy metal. I had to pick that up. I believe it is the uh, Genesis slash Mega Drive version on this cartridge, um, which has great 16-bit music. I also ended up picking that game up for the uh, Switch. Um, I paid for it myself uh, for a physical version, which included the soundtrack uh, for CD quality music as well. Now, I actually wish, uh, I hope, that maybe they do like a dual cartridge for Coffee Crisis and something else that has the CD quality music on it, because since they can do... 32-bit uh, stuff on this. They could definitely fit that on a cartridge. I hope I hope we see that down the line I hope we see seeing as we see like arcade versions of cartridges I hope we see like maybe enhanced versions of other games, but the version on this is absolutely great as well um, The music is great. I just would love to have a CD music on there as well as I mentioned we had top coffee crisis um, I did a, I did a review for this previously. It's a fantastic game um, In of itself awesome to get that got old uh, towers here as well Tanza, difficult but good game. Uh, Little Medusa, Super Painter, Multitude, Almost Hero, Creepy Brawlers, and Justice Duel, as well as Log Jammers as well. 
I actually remember being uh, being sent a code for that, but I didn't have the time for it. Um, uh, yeah, awesome. I mean, I, there's so many things I would like to review if I had the time. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, the uh, this collection, so good, so good. Um, very cool. One of my favorite collections on on the system. Absolutely, the uh, Mega Gat Studios Collection One. Next up, we have the Mega Gat Studios Collection Two. Eight and sixteen bit games on this. Eight games on this cartridge. Awesome. And this has a, a bunch of fantastic games on that as well. It has Arcagus Revolution, Devil Two M D. Ro Meow and Julie Cat. That game is really good. Uh, Ronin's Tale. I think uh, I think it's Ronin's Tale that it needs uh, needs to be patched. Um, I, yeah, I think that needs to be patched to have the complete game. I could be wrong. Um, misplaced Yazzy Alter Ego and Golf. And I think that's the only the only one. On the EverK games, aside from controls, like maybe like you might want to patch to like change the controls for like Double Dragon, for example. And um, the only game that needs you to download a patch, I think, is Ronin's Tale. I could be wrong, but I think I think I think that's it. I could be thinking of a different game. Actually, I'm almost certain I am. I think I'm thinking of a different collection. We'll get to it, and I'll remember when we do. Um, no, I was right. I was right because it says here um, in this insert. Yeah. So, like, the game was pretty much done by the time this came out. So, it has a completely playable version on this. Um, but it's a demo version. So, like, to get the full version, you have to download that. Um, which is fine. It's, like, it's the only game currently that you do need to patch. Um, it's not like, you know, modern systems where, like, stuff just doesn't work without patching. You can play this. It'll just be a demo version. Um, but, yeah, so I was, I was remembering correctly there. There you go. But, yeah, of course, there's a full color manual in there as well. Um... It would be interesting, actually, if they did update the cartridge and put the full version on it down the line. I wonder if they will do that. Um, interesting if it's, to see if they do that. Then this would be like a first run version. Don't know if they will. Just putting it out there. Would be interesting if they did. Uh, there's a cartridge for that. Megacat Studios Collection 2. Black on the back. Number 20. If you did want to order them numerically, I order them alphabetically, as you can see. Alright, great games on that guy. Great games. Next up. Namco Museum Collection 1. It was included as the Atari Collection was in the uh, starter package. Now I do want to mention about the Atari uh, Namco Collections. Namco Collection 1 and 2 are the only two collections that currently will not play on the VS. The, ha the console version. They'll play on your handheld fine. So you can still play them, um, but yeah, when these when these came out, they were UK exclusive. Due to licensing issues with uh, with Namco, they were only they were only licensed to sell in the UK and to be played on a handheld. So unfortunately, they are not uh, Namco Collection One and Two are only licensed to play on the handheld consoles. They won't play on the uh, VS and I believe the VS won't even show an error message when you put them in it just won't play them unless you update the VS which is a bit weird um, I think maybe a bit of foresight could have been used there to put an error message up beforehand um, but it's a shame these have great games on them but that's entirely down to communication between Blaze and Namco um, if I was to if I was to put my um, my thoughts onto this I would say Unless they are trying to get a, a Namco arcade collection, which would be awesome. And they're still working out a deal for that. Um, I know that they, they probably wanted the Namco uh, branding um, on the initial release. But now they, they definitely passed the point where, like... Um, definitely there will be um, people that want these games to get into it. But definitely I think, like, Evercade stands alone. Um, there's so many great collections on it. That I think maybe they, sh they should have bit the bullet and um, paid for the extra licensing for these on the home console, and then, I don't know, maybe maybe not done anything after that. But, you know, we'll, I hold out hope for an arcade collection, and these, uh, a Namco collection museum, one and two, to work on the uh, versus down the line, I hope. Let, I hope, because these have great games on them. But these definitely still play, um, got Dig Dug, is sold. Yes, yeah, they've got great games on them, Zombie, for sure. Um, 
but I hope these will work on the VS down the line at some point, but um, it's not seeming that likely. But anyway, that's, that's again, that's like a, that's two in 20 cartridges, and a two in 26 if you count the new ones coming out that won't work on the home console. But I'll mention this again when I review the home console in a couple of days. Anyway, yes, yeah, so this is another console versions, and this features a bunch of great games. We have Galaxian, Pac-Man, Xevious, so many good games here. Mappy, Dig Dug, um, Star Luster, Battle Cars, Metal Marines, Little Rabble, Quad Challenge, and Mappy Kids as well. And I think Mappy Kids is the first physical version with like English text. Yeah, um, so Zombie, that issue is only pre uh, prevalent with uh, Namco. And I've heard, I heard this from Mad Lil Pixel, who heard it from someone else. Um, I've heard that that's due to, uh, that's on Namco's side. So like, Namco are a little difficult to work with. Yeah, so the only, there's only two that don't work across both systems. And that's the Namco Collection 1 and the uh, Namco Collection 2. These are the only two. So the rest of them are fine. Uh, with that said, we'll go on to Namco. So it's just Namco. Everything else works on works on everything, but these will only work on the uh, only work on the handheld. Uh, but the handheld still still goes on to. It, what's weird about it is the handheld has HDMI out anyway, so the handheld you can still play on the TV. It's it's just weird. It's just one of those weird little issues that I hope they work out. They said they're trying to work it out, so I hope they will. Um, this collection contains eleven games. And it's got Splatterhouse on it. Hey, Big Boss Incarnate, 16 months of coffee. Ah, that's a lot of coffee, but it's a good amount of coffee. And he's got that silver cup. How are you doing, Big Boss? Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Taking a look at a couple of uh, Evercade collections on the uh, Evercade handheld. I just picked up the purple edition. And uh, going through a couple of the old collections here, just for it. Uh, anyone that's not familiar with it, it's a handheld that can connect, connect to your TV. has physical cartridges with uh, with physical games on it as well. You didn't understand why they were releasing a home console as on with GLT. Uh, so there's there's certain things that the home console can do. Actually, it's good good uh, good thing that you asked uh, Zombie because uh, the one thing that the handheld can't do is uh, where's the digital versions of these big boss? All right, all right, let me at him, let me at him. <laughs> You, <laughs> you're good, Big Boss. I'm doing great, thanks for asking, my friend. Um, so the handheld can't do multiplayer, but the home console can. The home console can do up to four players multiplayer, and the home console will also do 1080p, uh, and it can fit two uh, cartridges in at once, so you can have more games on the go at once. And there's a couple of hidden games if you put two cartridges in at once on some of the collections as well but the main thing is the home console one if you like the home console experience and you want to play multiplayer it'll have a multiplayer um, option for up to four players on some of the games so that's a big reason for that for the home console versus the handheld but otherwise the handheld is, still works on the tv so it's still pretty awesome hey there's big boss using my face in the chat you can use my face however you want my friend and that's not that's not supposed to sound as weird as I make it sound, but there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, so there's a Namco Museum. 11 games on this cartridge. This includes Pack Attack, Gallagher, Warp Man, Dig Dug 2, Dig Dug Harder, The Towers of Dragula, Burning Force, Thelios. What a great game. Weapon Lord, Dragon Spirit, The New Legend, Splatterhouse Part 2 and Splatterhouse Part 3. I hope we get Splatterhouse 1. This is what I'm holding out for. I'm holding out for, like, another collection. We get, like, Splatterhouse 1, maybe. Or maybe the Famicom version of Splatterhouse that was pretty awesome as well. Holding out for hope that we get more Namco stuff and they sort out this licensing with them. There's a cartridge right there. Namco Collection 2. Physical game cartridge with the games on, on it. Good stuff. Good stuff from the Namco Collection. Let me play it on my Versus. Stall it out. Right. Next up. The Pico Collection 1. Now this is very cool. This is another reason I think a lot of people might be attracted 
Dragon House, uh, Dragon Spirit, and Splatoon for the Wind Zombie for sure. Those those are absolutely great games. Um, Twenty games on this collection, eight and sixteen bit games. Pico um, is has been gaining the uh, the license for a ton of retro games and also games from overseas and translating them. So these are a bunch of games that you might have never seen, but uh, the majority of these are retro games that they have procured the license for. Maybe they were obscure releases or um, just only available in certain regions, and maybe they were never released in English and they've been translated. I think this is one of the best reasons to have the Evercade, this physical collection of retro games. Um, some you might know of, like Draken, and others that have been translated for English text for RPGs as well. You'll have to try a bunch of these at uh, Big Boss. Yeah, these are very well priced as well. So each cartridge is about £15 or $20. And the the handheld system is only about £60 or $80 for like the base one that comes with one game. Or like £80 or $100 I think for the version that comes with three games. Would I prefer to buy a new uh, Namco cart for the home console? I mean, in in theory, Zombie, they just they plan to just if they sort it out, they're gonna just patch like the the new system that the versus VS rather has Wi-Fi on it, and in theory, the Wi-Fi will just download an update, and those those carts will work perfectly fine. But even if they don't, you can still play those carts on the handheld, like perfectly fine. So I will probably just play the Namco collections on the uh, on the on the on the uh, on the handheld, and then just do HDMI out from that when I play them. That's probably what I'll do. There's 20 great games on this collection, uh, which includes Switchblade, Dragon View, Top Racer, Power Punch 2, Brave Battle Saga, Eight Eyes, Nightshade, Radical Rex. The Humans, I have The Humans on Game Boy actually, it's a bit like Lemmings. Uh, Dork and Yump. Magical Girl. Uh, Magic Girl rather, sorry, not Magical Girl, that's a different game. <laughs> uh, Magical Girl is a shmup that's extremely rare. This is a, this is a, a platformer, Magic Girl, uh, if I remember correctly. Water Margin, which is a beat-em-up game. Iron Commando. Draken, I have that on the Mega Drive, it's a D&D game. Uh, Tin Head. The Immortal, another game from the Mega Drive. Power Pigs of the Dark Age. Canon, Legend of the New Gods. Way of the Exploding Fists, and up, some more beat em up. Uh, Jim Power, The Lost Dimensions. Alright, and this is a, yet again a physical cartridge collection. There you go. Pico Collection 1. Now there is a Pico Collection 2 as well. Pico Collection 2. Is, uh, is mostly sports games. So there's Pico Collection 2, 13 games on this. It includes 8, 16 bit, and 32 bit games as well. The system can handle 32 bit, which is crazy. Uh, but there's some interesting ones on this as well. Soccer Kid is a really weird game. Uh, but these are a lot of these are sports type games from Pico that they have the license for now. So you've got uh, Beast Ball. Eliminate a boot duel with the with the American artwork. I would have preferred the British artwork for that. Uh, football madness, full throttle, all American racing. Hoops, shut up and jam. How many of these are there, Big Boss? There are twenty at this time, but there's going to be twenty six in just a few days. So in just a few days, I will be unboxing the home console, and that's got six more cartridges, including one from the Bitmap Brothers, which includes. The Chaos Engine, also known as Soldier of Fortune, which I'm very excited for. That cartridge I'm going to review by itself. Uh, you got Hoops, Shut Up and Jam 2 here, Power Football, Racing Fever, Soccer Kid, which is a platformer, very interesting. In that game you like kick a football to take out enemies. Summer Challenge, Top Racer 2, Winter Challenge, and World Trophy Soccer on this collection as well. And there's also a sticker sheet in here. I mentioned sometimes there's extra stuff in here. There's a little sticker sheet in there, pretty cool. Full colour manual, as always, full colour manual, and the cartridge. There's that. Different colour on the back as well, just to just just to get me. Different colour on the back. There's that. Pico Collection 2. Here we have the Technos Collection 1. 8 and 16-bit games, 8 games on this cartridge. Take a look. 
Take a look at that. This has double dragon. Now the controls were um, backwards to what we would expect on some of the double dragon games, but they fixed that via a patch on the system. I believe the purple one will probably be up to date with that, with that patch pre-installed on it. And I imagine the home console will as well. Um, but just keep that in mind. You might need, you might need to patch to be able to, to be able to change the controls in some of these games. Double Dragon 2: The Revenge, River City Ransom, Super Dodgeball, Super Double Dragon, Super V Ball, Renegade, and Crash and the Boys Street Challenge. Bunch of great games there. And there's the uh, physical manual, physical manual with the controls and everything in it. And then the uh, cartridge, the Technos Collection 1 cartridge. There's that. Physical game cartridge. They've got so many cartridges out, it has to be said. Next up, we have the Oliver Twins Collection. Now, if you are overseas, you may not be as familiar with the Oliver Twins as we are in the UK. Um, Codemasters, um, very well-renowned um, bunch of these games. Um, I had many of them on like the Commodore 64 on data set, which was a cassette based media um, Yeah, so in the UK We're a lot more familiar with this character than you might be But I am so happy they did this and even though they call this the Oliver Twins collection and uh, There's no numbering on it except you know the cartridge order, which is 12 um, They actually refer to this on the website as the Oliver Twins collection one which is a little bit um, Which is a little bit interesting because that means I hope that there might be a lot of the collections too. HDMI, yes indeed, Big Boss Incarnate. For the handheld, you can HDMI out that um, via uh, via uh, a, a mini HDMI to HDMI, and that'll work just fine. I did that when I did the um, when I did the previous uh, unboxing of the handheld, and on the uh, home console version they're doing that's just a straight up home console. So yeah, either one you get that there's the option for HDMI. Um, I think it'll be 720 on the handheld, and I think it's 1080 on the uh, on the on the home console version. But yeah, they de they 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 all, they all have uh, HDMI, which is pretty cool. That's my preferred way to play as well. To be fair, hey Predator Gaming, how you doing, buddy? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. This includes a bunch of great games. Of course, it's going to include a bunch of Dizzy games because Dizzy is just awesome. Uh, it includes the Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy, Super Robin Hood. Wonderland Dizzy, Panic Dizzy, Go Dizzy Go, Firehawk, Professional BMX Simulator, Dream World Pogi, Dizzy the Adventurer, Mystery World Dizzy, and Treasure Island Dizzy. A bunch of these games, outside of like the Aladdin Deck Enhancer, um, didn't have like home console versions. They might have had computer versions. Um, or digital versions, but I don't believe there were home console versions outside of like the NES Aladdin Deck Enhancer. And some of those weren't released, I believe, as well. Dizzy, you got that one, uh, Zombie? Yeah, the Dizzy games are fantastic. Um, absolutely amazing. And um, a, a portion of the proceeds for this, um, for this uh, release as well go to uh, video game preservation as well. So that's for this release, if I have that correct. Um, but there's that, the Oliver Twins collection. Even though it says collection, they've uh, they've referred to it as collection one. So I hope that there's a, a follow up to that as well. It's number twelve on the ordering by graph there. Cool. Hey, I'm glad you're doing well, Pred uh, Predator. Thanks for checking out the stream, my friend. We've got just a couple of uh, cartridges left for the Evercade, but there's going to be more. There's going to be more on the way for the Evercade. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, finally, this one. This one's going to have a lot of people interested, I think. Worms Collection 1. Or Team 17 Collection 1, however you want to say it. Only three games, but three heavy hitters on this. 16 and 32-bit games included on this collection. I figure a lot of people, this cartridge is going to sell the, the whole system to them. The whole system. Worms on your Evercade. You've got Worms. Worms Collection 1 includes... The original Worms game, and the one probably everyone's mostly interested in, especially when the home console comes out and you have multiplayer enabled um, by, by different controllers. You can play with uh, passing the controller as well, I think. Um, Worms 
Armageddon. And then there's Worms Blast as well, which is a puzzle game. But, yeah, Worms Armageddon, such a great game. I will definitely be using the multiplayer of the VS version when this comes out, and when that comes out, to play some Worms. Absolutely amazing to have uh, this. I mean, I have this game on other systems as well, um, computer versions, but, yeah, I'll get it again, sure. <laughs> and I did. Um, it's about as impulsive as I was to get the uh, the purple one. Some of the Codemaster games have gold assist uh, silver NES carts. Yeah, it's really cool actually. Some of the uh, cartridge variations on the NES zombie for sure. Hope you guys are doing well as well. Here's the uh, cartridge for that. There's a poster included. A poster. Take a look at that. For the Worms collection, I'll unfurl that so you can see it. Worms Collection 1 on the Evercade. You get a poster. There's that. There's the Evercade with your worms being played on it. There you go. That's the regular white edition. And on the back of this, there were all of the cartridges at the time. Over 200 games and counting. And counting is correct because they have, they have released more cartridges since then. Some of the incoming cartridges at the bottom there as well. Codemasters we just showed. Awesome. Awesome. That includes a full color manual, of course, for your controls. Full color manual and the cartridge itself. Very, very cool. Here's the cartridge. And there's the back of that as well. Only time you're happy to say you've got Worm Zombie. Ayo! <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, enjoying the retro goodness, there is one cartridge left as well. And actually, it's kind of an interesting one to talk about as well for the last cartridge. And I'll give you some of my thoughts about this cartridge as well. So the last cartridge is the Xenosaga and Tanglewood dual cartridge. This is a two-game, a dual-game cartridge with 16-bit games on. Now, these are modern retro-inspired games. Um, but these games are very modern games, and they are available digitally in loads of places, and they also did physical releases for, like, Mega Drive versions of these games as well. But what's really cool about this is these are, like, brand new games. Um, Xeno Crisis is, like, a um, Smash, uh, Super Smash um, uh, brawl game, top-down shooter. Um, Smash TV is what I was trying to say there, I was trying to remember. It's like a Smash TV-style game. Uh, top down, top top down shooter, absolutely amazing, like a twin stick style game. Controls great on the Evercade. Tanglewood is like a platform as well. Beautiful visuals on it, absolutely beautiful visuals. And um, yeah, so what I think, um, this is currently at the time of this recording, the only dual game cartridge they've done with this sort of uh, gimmick, where they have uh, two like relatively new games that you could uh, get digitally if you wanted to, but this is a physical version of both of them on one cartridge. I think this is potentially the future for like where Evercade might head down the line. I think that this is a really good thing for them to do, um, not just for the uh, developers, but also for Blaze and the Evercade in general um, to do these these modern popular games that are retro inspired. And um, they are doing a lot of retro collections, but due to licensing and due to availability. They they're gonna be they they're gonna be um, doing as many of them as they can, but um, not that the well will dry up. But um, to complement that, they can do stuff like this and uh, these these new cartridges with like new games on them, and I think that could be the future for the system um, down the line. That's just my opinion, but this is this is probably I imagine where they're gonna head and where they're gonna lean after they've done a lot of like, compilations, and they'll still do compilations as well, I imagine, but I think this is where they're going to be going, I think. So there's that as well. Includes two great games. Xeno Crisis is absolutely amazing, so is Tanglewood. Um, two new games for the Evercade, so not just retro games, but also new games on the system as well, which is very awesome. Um, yeah, very happy about this. And uh, yeah, this control's great, and with the VS you'll be able to use a different controller with that as well. 
I'm going for a full set. Uh, but it's a, I'm pretty close to a full set, actually. Or at least I will be. So yeah, like they're, they're so cheap. They're like £15. Hey, Mr. More Gaming. 14 months in the coffee club. How you doing, my friend? You've got that silver cup. Appreciate it, my friend. How are you doing, Jamie? Appreciate you dropping by, my friend. Uh, this includes the cartridge, of course, and uh, and both of the uh, the manual and a little uh, a little insert here as well. So the man the manual is actually a double a double like manual, a bit like the old comic books. You know how a comic book would be like one way up one side, and then where the, where it, where it bound, it would be the other way up. So that's pretty cool. Full color manual, of course, for these uh, for these. There's your uh, there's your Tanglewood introduction, and your uh, and your controls for that. And then on the flip side, we flip it round, we get the uh, the other side of that. It's pretty awesome. The Xeno Crisis and the controls for that. This game is absolutely amazing, by the way. Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood as well. So much fun. Great games. And there's the uh, little insert that comes with that. There's your coffee, guys. There's your coffee. There's your coffee. You good, uh, Jamie? That's good to hear, my friend. I'm doing great. So excited about this new Purple Evercade as well. And there's, uh, hey, you can sign up to their newsletter as well. Over out. Don't miss out. How about that? <laughs> A little plug for their uh, sign up and their website there as well. There's the website, actually, if you wanted to check out more about the Evercade. There you go. There's the, there's the Evercade website. There you go. <laughs> and you can see all of the cartridges currently available and ones that were coming out on the Evercade as well down the line so really cool and then of course we'll check out the uh the cartridge right here as well and then we'll have a, a final peek at the handheld there's the uh the dual cartridge i think this is this is potentially where they're going to be going with these they have the uh, arcade cartridges coming out as well and they will have different um versions of games down the line with those arcade and home console versions but i think i think the uh, the dual cartridge with these with these modern systems potentially where they might uh, head down the line. They've got the renovation collection coming out, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. And the VS is coming out soon. I will be doing an unboxing of the VS and we'll be showing that via HDMI, the uh, the home console version of the system as well. Uh, so I'll be showing that soon. I got the shipping notification for that. So I will be showing that uh, very soon. But yeah, there you go, guys. That was the Evercade handheld. Purple Edition unboxing right here. Thank you guys for checking it out. It's been a lot of fun. This is a great handheld system, as I mentioned. Looks absolutely amazing. Feels great to play. And um, they have a home console version coming out. Very cool about that. Um, it does have HDMI out. There's the HDMI, HDMI mini um, to HDMI. Got a power button right there. Two shoulder buttons. Four shoulder buttons on the uh, on the other controller. And then on the uh, on the on the back here, you have the volume and the uh, headphone out, and then your power as well. Um, yeah, great system, looks great, feels great to play. Evercade are really knocking it out with these systems. Happy to have it. Happy to see what they do down the line as well on the Evercade. And like I mentioned, guys. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Evercade. Uh. Alright. Um, they will be uh, doing the home console. I will be doing an unboxing of the home console, the Evercade VS. Well, I will be doing another unboxing as well. It depends what it, what gets to me first. Uh, from Funstock, I also ordered, um, unrelated to the Evercade, uh, but I'll mention it anyway. I ordered um, the Mega Man The Wily Wars. Uh, reproduction cartridge from Funstock. I got the shipping notification for that as well. So I'll be doing some Mega Man soon, guys, on an unboxing for that. Um, but also, guys, yes, as well as showing you this Evercade handheld, I will also be doing the Founders Edition, the Black Edition of the Evercade VS, the home console. That is coming with six more cartridges. It's coming with um, the Intellivision collection. It's coming with the Bitmap Brothers collection on the home version. And then it's coming with four arcade cartridges as well. Atari and other systems on the arcade. Arca arcade versions of the games to play on this thing. So cool. 
All right, I just have to just have to watch that opening sequence again because it's so cool. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for checking out this unboxing. Um, I if if Evercade has piqued your interest, then be sure to check out my next unboxing video, where I will be showing the VS. Um, that's probably going to be next week when I get my hands on that as well, and. Uh, Whilst I'm at it as well, mentioning other things, um, sometime next week I will have my next video game pickups video out as well. So next week's going to be a busy week, guys. Uh, we're going to have, unless the uh, Mega Man collection arrives tomorrow, uh, we're going to have the Mega Man The Wily Wars reproduction cartridge unboxing. We're going to have a uh, edited video for video game pickups. Don't forget to check out my recent video game pickups as well and Game Room Tour if you're interested in that. And then, as well as that, we're going to have the Evercade VS. And there's going to be six new cartridges on that, five of which I'm going to show in that video, as well as unboxing the system. And then I'm also going to separately do, individually do, the Bitmap Bros Collection as well, which is going to be awesome. Um, just so excited to play the Chaos Engine as it is. But as you saw, 20 plus cartridges. It's going to be close to 30 by the time um, the VS is out for the Evercade handheld system. It's a system that is only just over a year old. It's already got so much support. Yes, there's a couple of little things that uh, need to be sorted out for sure. But fantastic system. Very collectible system. Very happy about it as well. Um, and it's a great system that I will be keeping track of and collecting moving forward. So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think. And if you haven't already subscribed, hey, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. I do a lot of different crazy things on the channel which you can check out on the past videos and all of that stuff. And of course, if you would like to, you can also join the coffee club uh, through YouTube channel membership or you can support me through Patreon as well. There's uh, exclusives for those that do so as a thank you from me to you. And it just remains for me to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being a part of this. I have been MVL. You have been awesome. And I will catch you next time.